Hey guys, welcome back to Vincent GG's Super Channel G. This is what's gonna look like when we get all of our characters unboxed and open and reviewed. This looks so incredible, so amazing, and look, so many figures. So I can't wait to get started, guys. If you have not subscribed to our channel already, please subscribe below. Click on the little bell to turn on notifications for every time we get a new video out so that you can see it right away. And guys, I can't wait to hang out with you to check out all these great characters. So, let's get started, right now. Guys, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I am unbelievably excited to finally get to do the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, Build-A-Figure set for Mantis. And let me tell you, you're gonna want to see this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this eight double pack. And this is gonna be the complete set. So let's go ahead and get it started. But let's get them in order. And let me just say that one of these is actually a Toys R Us exclusive that was not a part of the official set. But let me get us in order here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started, and let's take a look to see who's in this series. So, we have, of course, this is the Build-A-Figure for Mantis, and we have Rocket Raccoon with Groot. Obviously, it's going to be a little Groot. We have Gamora, we have Nebula, Star-Lord, Adam Warlock, X nihilo and then Marvel's Deathhead 2. We actually do not have this one today. He was not a Build-A-Figure series character, and I wasn't really feeling how he looked. So, we have all the ones that complete this, plus we have an extra large Groot that was a Toys R Us exclusive, and then we have the two figure set, the one that has Marvel's Ego. Look at that, and another Star-Lord. So, I can't wait to get this started. Why don't we start right now? So guys, this one is Rocket Raccoon. And look, we got looks two heads. We have this little like infant Groot, or I'm sorry, toddler Groot, right? And uh oh, where does gun go? I hope it fell down there. And of course, we have this mantis part. So let's get it open. Oh, my bad, getting overzealous again. So how do we want to read this? Like movie? We want to read it like Rocket? Let's go for it. A genetically engineered raccoon and a regenerating tree-like humanoid, Rocket and Groot make for a one-of-a-kind duo. Not sure what kind, but definitely one of a kind. Oh, that was fun. It definitely tore up my throat, though. All right, so let's get this open. I'm super excited. And let's not destroy the package so we can store it later. First of all, where's our other gun? Can you fall in here somewhere? All right, well, here it is. So let's get our whole character out. Let's toss that over there. And let's take a close look. Man, look how amazing these look. Let's bring this down like this. So amazing. And this gun, I don't know why it, I mean, we're gonna take it right out anyway, but. Uh oh, the other one popped out when I was trying to put that one in. <laughs> All right, so I guess let's take a look at the guns real quick. They look super cool. They are so tiny though, look at that. They look super cool though. All right, other gun. Look at that. Super awesome. All right, let's get Rocket out of here. Come on, Rocket. Okay, great. We have some decent head articulation. I uh, really just go side to side. Doesn't really go up and down too much. All right. We can move the elbows. You know, pretty decent amount, considering he's a little figure. The hands do spin. We can hold definitely our guns there. Let's make sure they extend all the way out straight. Definitely do. You need to have arms that extend out straight when you have guns. I regret that the arms don't come closer to the body. They stay always that far out. Now we can go like this. The problem is we can't get them any closer. Oh well. He moves right here at the rib cage, which I don't prefer. I prefer the waist. But with this character this small, it's you can't tell as much. Wow, look. Oh, ooh. there went his foot but his knee does bend to get good articulation. The tail does move. Nice. 
So I am very satisfied with this character. He moves, his leg moves right here at the thigh. And, but I will say, ooh, I don't wanna break this, so let me support this while I pull it down. Great. Um, this character looks outstanding. Got great detail, a lot of love went in this character, but the hands and the feet fall out pretty readily. Let's look at the other head. Ah, it's really stuck in there. Look at this. Pretty awesome. He's like going like, <laughs> or just talking a lot of trash. So, trash panda over here. Just kidding, he hated when they called him that. We can switch the heads out. You wanna switch the head out and look, see what it looks like? Me too. Let's pull that off. And if you'll notice, that's why it doesn't rock back and forth. It's just that ball right there. So it's easy to get on. That looks great. Let's put the guns in his hands. Nice. Ooh. It's not staying in there as well as I would have liked, but it's still in there. And same thing with this one. Look at this. Yes, yes, and yes. Looks awesome. So support the body part when you move a joint because we don't want parts falling off and popping out. So this looks great. Let's move them like that. Let's get them going like this. Look how outstanding that looks. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Take a picture right there. Let's set them aside. Let's have them, I don't know, we'll move them in a minute. So we have, look at Toddler Groot. Toddler Groot, if we can get a little bit of focus right here. Look at those eyes, be bugging out. Mm. That's why you don't like hats? Let's see. All right, so nothing articulates. It's just a little plastic piece, but it looks great. Now I'm gonna tell you, look at the way the feet are angled. You think this stands up? I don't think so. So let's try. So what we can do is we can lean them against Rocket. There we go. Cool. And let's take out our Mantis piece. Mantis, uh, I regret it doesn't move at the waist, like we talk about all the time. It still moves at least up and down right here at the rib cage. And so, all right, we'll set this aside so we can see it in the end. Next, who do we have? We have Gamora. Man, look at this weapon. All right, let's get this one out. This one looks great from the outside. Oh, let's read the back. And let's read it with some movie voice, right? Though each chose their own path in the wake of their father's rise to power, these skilled assassins forever share a familial bond. Sorry, got stuck on that word for a second. <laughs> All right, this looks amazing. So let's get her out. Ooh, this package isn't cooperating as much as I want it to and I don't want to just tear it. There we go. Come on out, Gamora. Thanos' daughter, right? And look how amazing this looks already. This looks just like Zoe Saldana. Incredible. This is really long mantis leg. All right. Let's get the mantis leg and just set it aside. It definitely looks like a mantis leg. <laughs> what is like texture right here? Okay, set that aside. Come on out, Gamora. Come out, come out wherever you are. Wow, this figure looks incredible. Look at the detail on the face. The face of the Marvel Legends just like continue to blow me away. The laser technology that they do. Now the head can move a little bit the way they design the hair, the way it flows kind of forward and it's still a little bendy so we can we can have pretty, wow that looks great actually, good job, I'm impressed. I'm not usually that impressed with a character that has long hair but this one can move, good job. Alright so let's see what kind of articulation we have. Uh, the arms are only going to come back that far but you know what this is a pretty tight little 90 degree angle so it's not like it's still out there so I give them props for that. The wrist goes back and forth and spins. 
So that looks great. Great one on this. And this character is nice and tight. Let's see. Does not move at the waist, but it does move at the ribs. Now, I regret this. It doesn't, it kind of moves and up and down, but it doesn't actually turn. Oh, I guess turn a little bit. I guess turn a little, I guess just the way it's shaped. So the legs have great articulation. We got double joint right here on the knee. This looks awesome. Oh, wow, that popped off pretty easily. So that's not great, but okay. There we go. So let's see if we can't have, there we go. This looks really awesome. It's super awesome actually. And let's take a look, let's see what kind of weapon we have here. Look at this huge like blaster gun. Wow, look at the detail on this and it looks like metal. It's not, but it's definitely, ooh, it's, okay, I thought it was gonna be super sturdy. Not super sturdy, but this part's definitely thicker. That looks great. Let's take a look at our sword. Oh, ah, I keep dropping things, sorry guys. And here we go, look how great this looks. Wow, okay. So, let's have the sword right in here, right? What do you say? That looks outstanding. And let's put this gun, well I guess this one's really meant for the gun, so let's put that right in there and we'll put it in like this because it's going to be difficult to put it any other way. But alright, put the little, oh come on index finger, work with me here, I don't want to break it off, there we go, just kind of moved it around in there. So, actually, this looks kind of cool. Would she be able to hold this gun just like this? Probably not. But, you tell me that doesn't look super cool. All right. Now, let's move the... Let's see what kind of... Ugh! It has clearly a joint right there. And I don't want to break it because it's not moving... There we go, finally. But it felt like it was gonna bust out. Okay, so can I lean her forward like this? Will she allow me to? Oof. No, it's kinda herky jerky. But check out how awesome that looks. Let's extend this out. Yes. Tell me this Gamora doesn't look amazing. Right? Look at that. Let's take a picture right here. Boom! Come on. Work with me here. Work with me. Oh, I almost got it. Just put it right here anyway. Hmm. Sorry guys, kind of want, oh, there we go. Thank you, Gamora. Took forever, but it worked. Please stay in that pose. All right, let's put it over here. No. Mm. Well, that worked for like a New York minute. There we go. Rocket right over here. Let's put Groot right over here. And there we go. There we go. So that'll be super awesome. Next, let's move on to our next character, which is Nebula. Wow, look at this. This looks really cool. Get Nebula out. And what does it say here? It says, though each chose their own path in the wake of their father's rise to power. These skilled assassins forever share a familial bond. Oh, that was the same. Because it has the same back. My bad. All right, so let's get this open. Forgot it says the same thing when we have a double up like that on the back. At least I read it better this time. Ish. 
So, let's see what we got here. Okay, this character looks just like her. It looks like they shrunk her. And let's get this mantis leg out, right? The other leg. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and let's get our nebula character out. Come on out, girl. Oh, I feel like the handle's gonna pop right off. All right, so this one does move at the waist. What do you know? And then, of course, moves a little bit right here at the rib cage. Let's see, the arms do move. This constricts it a little bit, or restricts it a little bit. Let's see, the arm moves up, down, out, wrists, head. This looks just like Nebula from the movie. Awesome, great job. Of course, we have a single joint right here on the elbows, because that's what is typical for our female characters. Um, the boots, everything looks amazing. Great detail in this figure. So, I would have appreciated maybe a second head, because Nebula is definitely like crazy. Oh, all right, so let's throw that over there. And let's see, we got this weapon right here. This gun. And I guess we have this replacement arm right here. So, let's put that right there. That looks cool. There we go. And then I guess this we could just replace, right? We could do this replacement arm. Looks pretty cool. Just pop that out and goes right in there. So, all right, we'll set that aside. Let's see, we get pretty good leg articulation, double joints, the paint job is amazing. And so, let's see what we can do here with hopefully getting her a little bit better luck standing up. Let's see, we can't throw some of her weight forward. It's starting to rock back already, huh? All right, so let's see. Uh, let's move the foot just a little bit further up. There we go. So, let's put Nebula right over here. That looks pretty good. Digging it. All right, next, who do we have? All right, it's about time. I'm sure you've been waiting for this one. This one is Star-Lord. Wow, great job, guys. Look at these guns. There's no mask here. Sure doesn't look like it. But luckily, our other character, I believe, comes with a mask. So luckily, we got that one, the two-pack. So let's get this open. Let's read what it says right here. Cosmic Calamity. When Star-Lord blasts into battle, it's not a matter of if things get weird, but a matter of when. Great. Let's get this bad boy open. Okay, and let's not destroy our package in the process. Awesome. And Star-Lord, let's take a look. Wow, look at this great outfit. What does that shirt say? Interesting. Look at that. There we go. All right, so this, we have this like scarf going right here. We have this kind of like smug look on his face. Oop, there went Nebula. Another one bite the dust. All right, so we got finally uh, double joints on the elbows. We have good wrist articulation, spins. Got this face. This actually looks pretty good. It actually looks less like um, Peter Quill, or I'm sorry, Chris, than the other characters look like their actresses, but still looks great. All right, we got the pants look awesome. The boots look awesome. The outfit looks great. They did a great job with this paint. And let's see what would go here. I guess we can put guns on, on the sides. It does move at the waist. I'm loving that. It crunches at the abs. My favorite. So 
This looks awesome. And guess what? I'm pretty sure we can take this off. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Love when we can do stuff like that. Because it just makes our character so much more versatile. Or versatile. Great. Come on, brother. Let's get this off already. Okay. Oh, uh, well, I guess if we take it off, the sleeves are still the, the jacket sleeves. Didn't think about that. But, in any event, it can come off, right? So, this looks kind of cool. And, there's our mantis piece. There we go. It's like... So, set that aside. Let's get his blasters out right here. Those look great. And then, what's this? Guys, again, I'm gonna need your help because I'm not 100% sure what this is. Oh, it's his cassette deck. Cool. I was like, what is this? Because it just looks like a little piece of plastic. So I guess that's his cassette deck. Let's see where it fits. Nope. Nope. All right, I need your help here because if it doesn't go here, sorry, it doesn't go here, it doesn't go here, because it doesn't stay. Does it just go in his hand? I don't know, but it's clearly his tape deck. Let's see. Wow, that's a lot of little detail in there. Such a small thing. So, all right, let's put his little scarf back on. Let's put his jacket back on. All right? Let me see how hard this will be to put it back on after we've already taken it off. There we go. Cool. There we go. So we were able to get that on pretty easily. Cool. Oh, look, I guess we put it here. There we go. There's the shape. It's like playing a puzzle game. Gotta look for the clues. All right, now the clue is, am I putting it on right? Like this. There we go. Look at that. You can barely tell what it is, though. All right, so let's pop these blasters in right here. Boom, boom. Let's put this one in right here. And the index finger is not really separated completely. It's separated to there, but then gets it's still attached there, so it's going to be hard harder to put that in the trigger. Ugh, I can't get this one in. I'm gonna have to just kind of wiggle down. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's kind of a odd fit, but it still works. Look at this. There we go. I'm digging it. Look at his sideburns. Okay, let's bend this elbow right here. Uh-oh, now it's loose all of a sudden. What is the deal? So let's get a picture right here. All right, let's get him a cool stance. Let's see if we can get him to... All of a sudden, he's a lot looser than we would have hoped. Oh no, there went his tape deck. go. Let's see if we can get his foot to hold him up. Alright, cool. But, no, the tape deck. There we go. And Gamora, I don't know, taking a nap. Oh, I'm not Gamora. Nebula. Ah, stop trying to knock over. Gamora, there we go. Cool. That's great. Definitely digging that. Alright, so what do we have next? We have Adam Warlock. Wow. And so there was that teaser at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, I'll call him Adam. So here we are. And once again, we're going to share the back here. So 
Masters of energy manipulation, these supreme beings seek to defend the cosmos at all costs. So, I don't know what they're going to do if they're going to reintroduce him in the movies, for any of the Avengers ones, especially, or in the Guardians of the Galaxy going forward. I'm sure they will since they kind of just threw him in there like that. So, I'm pretty confident that'll happen. The thing is, his story is going to be much different than it is in the comic books. I would assume because he helped defeat... Thanos uh, to regain control for the Infinity Gauntlet and actually uh, wielded the Infinity Gauntlet for a little bit. The thing is, uh, the story is so way different already. So he doesn't already have the Soul Stone and that'd probably probably be way too much uh, introducing this character into the, the way they've written it for the Marvel Universe cinematic universe to make a whole lot of sense so I'm gonna say they probably don't incorporate that story all right let's take a quick look at the mantis head actually looks pretty awesome the whole shape of the face looks exactly like her we have these antenna right here and the hair looks great set that aside and we have two different heads here look at this that looks pretty awesome doesn't it so we can check that out in a minute. Man, look at even different hair. The, the way this character looks is actually pretty awesome. I'm digging it. You know how I feel about having two closed fists, but we don't. We have one closed fist, one open hand, so I'm definitely digging that. I don't know how I feel about this intercontinental looking belt, but at least we move at the waist and we crunch here on the abs. So that looks awesome. And let's put these here. Let's see how they look on the picture again. So they come out. Okay. They come out like this. Oop. So let's just kind of toss that in there. And it doesn't look like they're like especially awesome because it looks like they're pretty just like loose. And this one's kind of misshapen. This one looks like I'm gonna have to take the hand off just to put it through. Otherwise, shove that thumb in there. All right, well, shove the thumb. And they don't fit snug like the Doctor Strange ones do. So, don't know how I feel about these because they're warping kind of weird. But, at least we have them. Let's see if, at least we have some accessories. Everybody fell? Really? I don't think I went that crazy. All right, there we go. And he's leaning probably a little too far forward, so. There we go. Last thing I wanna do is have everybody continue to fall. All right, so I don't know what it is about this series that they just don't stand as well. As, for example, our the ones we just did with Spider-Man and with Thor, Ragnarok, and so on. These just aren't as stable. There, hopefully that, that'll work. Put that there. Let's put Peter Quill back forward. Let's see if we can plant his foot a little better, I guess. That should help. There we go. All right, let's bring Gamora back up-ish. And I think if we just have Nebula not falling on other people, we should be fine. Come on, Nebula. Let's get her done. Mm, Cause she's not leaning on her back foot, that's what it is. There we go. I keep saying there we go and it's not but we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, great. Next, we have Ex-Nihilo. And first thoughts, not digging the way this character looks. Looks like he has no accessories. Probably doesn't really need any, but just looks like a big painted gold dude. Um, I know that he definitely, they wanted him to look like the comic books, but look at this. 
this still looks a little bit better. But nonetheless, we definitely need him to complete our build a figure. And let's take him out. Let's see, maybe I'll be impressed somewhere. Oh. All right, let's take out our mantis, build a figure part. Okay, we have the other arm, of course. And, wow, okay, so I know he's supposed to look like really like uh, powerful and ominous, so we'll go with that. But I'm not digging this head sculpt. I'm not digging these like crown horn things. Um, it's just like gold body tan. Not really feeling this character, so I'll just be straight up. Uh, there we go. He's barefoot. Once again, I know this is just his what his character supposed to look like, but not a whole lot to go over. He does move with the waist. Good for that. He does crunch the abs, but this character probably doesn't need to be like crouching down and doing all sorts of other stuff. So look, let's have him like controlling the cosmos. And so, let's have him moving stuff, like from there to there. And let's have his chin up real high. And let's just pose him so that we can kind of move on, because I don't think I would ever want to just buy this character if he had no build a figure. Right? So let's move him right on over here. He's really tall. Look at that. All right. Next, we have... Actually, you know what? Is that all of them? Oh my goodness, didn't even catch that. All right, so technically that was all of them. So now let's move on to our Toys R Us, Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot. Look how amazing this looks. So we have this little baby Groot, we have our toddler Groot, and we have our adult Groot. The only thing missing from here is teen Groot, which hadn't come out yet because Avengers Infinity War hadn't come out yet. So let's read the back. From potted prodigy to towering tree-like humanoid, Groot uses powers of regeneration to become a legendary defender of intergalactic justice. There's great pictures back here. Look at this. Let's get this bad boy out. All right, come on, Groot. Let's rock this. And wow, look, we got to attach the legs. Okay, so first let's look at toddler Groot. Toddler Groot looks much like the other Groot, the other Toddler Groot. There's no articulation, so we'll just put him over. Let's see if he stands on his own. He does not. All right, so let's put this one also by Rocket. Without dropping Rocket. Cool. Let's see. Our potted plant Groot, our baby Groot, right? Dancing to the music. That looks cute. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. There we go. Doesn't that look awesome? This one obviously is going to stand. I'll we'll put this one also by Rocket, since Rocket's like his dad. Let's bring that over here. And let's take our Groot out. Okay, awesome. Wow, look at this. Let me bring this down here. This looks so incredible. Now I'm going to like just loosen around here. So, you're gonna want to be cautioned because of the fact that they could pinch and come off when you don't want them to. So, it looks like we have great articulation points. We do not move at the waist. We move up here at the rib cage. So, the only reason why this is a little different here is because you can't tell as much what's his waist and what's not, but I'd still love it to move at the waist. It does crunch back and forth the abs. The head looks great. Look at that face. This looks outstanding. Look, and then we have little like pieces of tree. That's one of my favorite lines in the movie. When uh, in a actually, I'm sorry, in Avengers: Infinity War, is when uh, Thor comes out and he introduces Groot, Teen Groot, to uh, Steve Rogers and says to Captain America and says, "This is my friend Tree. Goes, I am Groot." He goes, uh, "I am Steve Rogers." So that's one of my favorite parts in the whole movie. There's so many great parts in Avengers Infinity War. Alright, so. If you'll look, if you'll notice, 
these go in you're like which leg is which since they look so similar they line up like a puzzle here see and then of course they've been here they only have a single um, joint that's all right that's all you need Groot is massive now it's cool because the feet move uh, side to side back and forth so you can get some great articulation here this character moves any way you want it to move except at the waist so this looks outstanding I'm super excited I'm proud of this character and let's get him in a good stance he looks like well his feet are so wide that he's definitely gonna be able to stand up well anywhere we put him uh oh nebula is over there wanting to fall over again there you go so let's see if we can't there nebula better stay there so let's bring nebula closer that way in case she gets a weird inkling we can just put Groot right here man look how crazy that looks right super super crazy all right and now we have we have two more and that's in the form of this double pack so we have star lord and marvel's ego let's see what it says back here look how great this looks and if you'll notice this one actually has the mask which we wouldn't have been able to have had we not gotten this two pack so right here it says roguish and unpredictable ego and star lord share many of the same qualities as father and son but when it comes to defending the galaxy as each sees fit their approaches unquestionably differ and wow this looks just like kurt russell right and of course this one looks a little bit more like uh, chris so let's get this bad boy open let's take a look right here okay good we don't want to just destroy our package and look kurt russell look at that chris pratt nailed it and you got a different jacket going on here Boom. Look how incredible this looks. So right off the bat, I'm gonna wanna take, put that head on instead of that one. So let's take a look at that. Let's push our load on out of there. Right. Come on, brother. And let's pop this head out. So this looks very similar to the other one. It's not exact. Ugh, let's twist, pop that head out. Well, I guess let me give you a closer look first. Looks good. Doesn't look amazing, but looks good. Okay. And let's get this going. Tell me that doesn't look outstanding. Why is it not moving very well? Maybe I didn't pop it on all the way. Maybe. All right, so that looks great. I love the way Star-Lord's mask looks. I'm sure you do too. And this jacket is super cool. This short version with a zipper right here. And it's very similar to the other one. The paint's a little bit lighter on both the pants and the boots. So let's get his tape deck. Basically the same accessories. I can't see any immediate difference. Oh, the paint on them is different. So this doesn't have that little like gold right here that the other ones do. So these are a little more, a little more rushed, I guess. But looks like the index fingers are more free and we don't have um, gloves on this character. So that's a plus. Let's put this right here. Let's try to get, ooh, great. Look how awesome that looks. Let's bring this one down here. Man, I love this one. This is so much better than the other one. Just because of how it looks. I'm sure you'll agree. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. I'm totally digging this one. Of course, we have, I think the boots and the pants could have been a little better paint job, but the detail is good. But the jacket, yeah, buddy. And the jacket looks like it can be removed also, but we don't want to. And look at this. Oop, he's kind of leaning weird. There we go. I'm gonna give him more power. 
Let's spread the legs a little bit more because that definitely doesn't look like a natural stance. There we go. There we go. That looks outstanding. And let's get Eagle out here. Now, we've all seen the movie. Eagle is no more. But, ah, come on. Focus. There we go. Man, does this look just like Kurt Russell's little head on my finger. Hello. All right. And let's, uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two heads. That's the funny part. There we are. Just like a soft smirk. That's really the only difference. All right, so this one, wow, that looks a little weird. It moves right here at the, the ribs, but then when it was sideways, it looked like a big old puff out. That looks weird. So this definitely looks like it. Cool cape, great attention to detail on the cape. We have this, which is separate. Um, this turns, this turns. The boots look amazing. This character, there's a lot of love put in him, actually. I'll give him a lot of credit. He's got no, um, uh, I'm sorry. He's got no accessories, but I guess he doesn't need them. As long as he has hands that look like he's speaking and cool. So, this one he's a little bit more grumpy. And this one is a little bit smiling. There's not a whole lot of difference, but it's subtle. So, great job on this Marvel Ego. Right? So, let's put him, see if we can get him to stand up first. In a natural way. Without... Also, without falling over. Ooh, and I don't want to knock everyone else over, too. There we go. Leg doesn't move very far back. That's a little weird. Ugh, there we go. Joints are a little stiff. There we go. Man, these are giving me more problems than I normally have. Okay. Okay. And so now, the moment you've been waiting for. Dun, da, da, dun. We have Mantis. Let's get our parts out here. Let's see, this is this arm. This is this arm. This would appear to be. Ooh, that turned. Okay, this leg and this leg. I guess that's it. So this is gonna be pretty Simple, pretty cut and dry. And let's pop the head on. There we go. And I love how Mantis is like so into Drax. It's funny too. I like the way they take that comedic angle. All right, Oop, why didn't it stay in there? Let's kind of dig it in there, make sure it stays. Okay, that worked. And this one. I guess we're going to want to bend it while we twist it in there. Ugh. It's so like small and it feels really fragile. So I don't want to break it. So I guess I bend it right there and push it in. That looks awesome. Let's pop these legs right on. Ah! I guess that'll work. And I was trying to twist it on there but the problem is that there's a part that twists right here on the thigh. So I'm just gonna have to push. There we go, that one. And let's see if I can push this one. Uh, is it going in or not? There we go, I just didn't wanna break it. So, all right, let's take a look at our Mantis character here. Looks great, doesn't it? Let's see, of course the head turns and then they did a good job of having the hair freer like this so we can move the head side to side. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about, oop, I'm kind of going in and out of focus here. There we go. It's great detail. I really like this character. I don't know if I'd pick it for the build a figure. I'd rather have this character and um, instead of, you know, X Nihilo, but you know, whatever. And then maybe we could have built a figure for someone else. I don't know, Taserface, something. But uh, something movie related, right? But nonetheless, I'm still excited that this helps us complete 
our figures. So where do we want to put her? We'll put her um, over here by Ego, I guess. There we go. Look how amazing that looks. Let's get just a little bit further back because there's so much here. Look at this. This looks outstanding. I'm gonna take a couple pictures here. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us here today, for watching our video. Man, look how great these characters look. They look incredible. I'm so excited. And this was so much fun. I hope you had a lot of fun with us too. So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Let us know what part of the world you're watching from. Which one of these characters was your favorite? I'll tell you which one mine was. It was that one. Maybe that one. Mm, perhaps those two. I don't know. They're all great. But between the two Peter Quills, I definitely love this one better. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. Please also, in addition to click on the subscribe button, please also click on the notifications bell so that you can get a notification every time we have a brand new video out. So guys, thanks for watching. Vincent Gigi Super Channel G.